All right, so here's P and here's Q. These two points are how many kilometers apart? 200. They are 200 kilometers apart. Okay. So here we have Joe who's traveling from P to Q and then back. Okay. So when he's traveling from P to Q, obviously distance is 200. Distance is 200. The speed at which he's traveling is X. Agreed? No, I'm going to the part. And the time that he's going to take will be 200 upon X. Okay, why? Because time equals to what? Time equals to distance over speed. speed. Distance is 200, speed is X, so 200 upon X. When he's coming back, meaning he's traveling from Q to P. So obviously distance is the same here. Since he's taking the same route. Speed, however, the speed says, the question says, sorry, that the speed of average speed of X plus 5 kilometers per hour. So really, so you can tell speed. The question could have also said that the speed is 5 kilometers per hour greater. Then we do what X plus 5, like we did in the previous question. So the speed is X plus 5 kilometers per hour. Now tell me again, what's time equal to distance upon speed? This time the distance is still 200, but the speed, however, is 5 kilometers per hour. Okay? Now let's see what the question has given us regarding the time. The total time. Total time ka matlab? Dono ko hum kya karenge? Plus karenge. Okay, agar difference hota, to hum minus karte. But the total time, is me, total time means that we're going to add the two times together. So 200 upon x plus 200 over x plus 5 equals to what? Equals to 8. In dono ko hum aapas multiply kar lete so that we have the denominator. Okay, if you can do it directly, very nice. x square plus? 5x, 5x, 5x. Why? Because, because, either dekho, either dekho, x multiply hoga x se, that will give you x square, x multiply hoga 5 se, so that will give you 5x, 5x. 200 multiply hoga x plus 5 se, so let's not, let's not multiply it, let's, mul let's write it uh, in bracket form, take care. We'll, we'll multiply it in the next step. And then, ye 200 multiply hoga x se, so ye to see the, see the 200 x ho jayega equals to 8. Now, let's bracket open the bracket. So, you have 200x plus 1000 plus 200x and how about at the same time, I multiply this x square plus 5x with this 8. So, this will give me 8x square plus 40x. Okay? Now, what do you guys suggest? Should I take 8x square plus 40x on the left hand side or should I bring all of this on the right hand side? All of this on the right hand side. Very good. Why? Because uh, my... Ideally, I'd want to keep x square positive. So 200x plus 200x, we simplify it. That's 400x plus 1000, very good, equals 8x square plus 40x. Now let's keep 8x square on this side and 40x as well on this side. And bring 400x on this side, so we have minus 400x, minus 1000. Now I know majority is what will and I'll also tell you why you couldn't reach where the question wanted you to. So 8x square minus 360x minus 1000 equals to 0. Yes. Oh, thank you. Now here is 8x square and here is x square. So what can I do? I'll factor out 8 but hang on. Okay, now let's factor out 8. Pay attention. x square plus, bulky minus sorry, what's 360 divided by? That's 45 and what's 1000 divided by 8? That's 125. So minus 125 equals to 0. Now you can think that this is 8. This will go to 0, but what will happen from 0? It will be divided from 0. Since it will multiply here, it will go to 0. Sorry? What will happen to you? x square minus 45x minus 125. 8 is common, right? So then you won't get the mark. Look, listen to me, listen to me. From the beginning. You have 8x square minus 360x minus 1000. Okay, this is not coming to it. Why? Because we can remove one thing from these three, and that is what? That is 8. Okay? Why? Because 8x square is a multiple of 8, 360 is a multiple of 8, and 1000 is a multiple of 8. Okay? Trial and error? Calculator. Calculator, yes, this is paper 2. Okay, tell me. Do it from 2, then do it from 2, then do it from 2, then do it from 2. So eventually you will get there. But look, use common sense. If there is 8x square here, if there is 8x square here, and there is x square here, then what will you get out of common? 8 is common, right? Alright, now, 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 now. After that, tell me, what will happen to this 8 here? Divide it. Divide it and it will just disappear. So you will be left with x square minus 45x minus 125 equals to 0. Disappear is not because what's 0 divided by 8? 
zero. <laughs> Any questions? No. Part two says, this was, by the way, this was part A, this was part B, part C part one in fact. Yeah, C part one. Now let's do C part two. C part two, you have to solve this equation. Sorry? Curly, na quadratic equation banali. Ab, ab mein isko solve karunga. Solve karne ke liye, what can I use? Quadratic formula. Achha, j, uh, just tell me ki A kya hoga? Next one. One aur B kya hoga? Minus Aur C kya hoga? Minus one twenty five. Tell me the quadratic formula. Upon two, this gives me the value of x. So right. minus bracket my minus forty five. Plus minus square root minus 45, minus the whole thing square, will cut Minus 4 into 1 into minus 125, bracket 1, over minus minus 2 into 1. Yeah, I don't know, minus 3 yeah. is no, no, minus 45 ka square positive ho jayega, or minus minus kya ho jayega, plus ho jayega. Toh ultimately, aapka answer plus mein jayega. Minus minus plus plus minus minus. Acha, quickly. Haan, as it is, punch it in your calculator and tell me what the answer is. Say yeah, yes, say yeah. 47 point? 62. 62. So 47.6 kar dete isko. Uh, let's see what the question is asking you to do. Correct to two decimal places, so we'll have to write 47.62. 2 ke aage batao kya hai? 4. So 47.62 kaafi hai. And what about the minus wala? Achha, why am I writing kilometers per hour? Because I know ke hum kya nikal rahe hai? Time. Nahin. Time to hours mein measure karte hai. Speed. Achha, tell me the other value of x. Minus 2 point? 6.2? Say, say, minus 2.62. We're not done yet. The question says, calculate correct to the nearest minutes the time he took to travel from P to Q. Now let's go back. This is the expression that will give us the time that he takes to travel from P to Q. Now we can't get out of here until we have the value of x. Alright, so as I was saying, you cannot figure out the time that he takes to travel from P to Q. Why? Because you didn't have the value of x. Now, the last part, we're doing part 3. Part 2 is doing part 3. Part 2 is doing part 3. Now, tell me, do you have two values of x? Now, tell me, what can be the speed? Can it be positive or negative? So, as I said, when we're solving part 2, we will write both these answers. But when we use it, then we will only use the positive answer because as I said, speed can never be negative. So, how do we take time? 200 over... What's the value of x? 47.62. That's it. 47.62. Okay, work this out. Work this out and tell me what the answer is. Then there is another thing that I have to tell you. Now, whatever your answer is, this is in hours. The question is asking you to give the answer in? Minutes. Minutes. So, how do you go from hours to minutes? No, you multiply it by 60. So, whatever your answer is in your calculator, you multiply it by 60. 2199. Yeah, times it by 60. 251.99. So, correct to the nearest minute, what will happen? 251 or 2? So, 252 minutes is our final answer. There you go.